you know, on the job description, you won't see saving lives. It's not part of the job, but a We Energy's worker did just that a few weeks back. Here's the thing. He was driving from Richland Center to Bellevue when he came upon a bad crash. Our air may have been live in West Dallas, and it sounds like something going wrong led to him actually coming out a hero. He helped save a woman stay alive. Ted and Mary, this is absolutely a situation of being in the right place at the right time. A Wee Energy's worker was driving. He missed a turn, so his GPS rerouted him. That's when he pulled up to a wild and chaotic crash site. He had quick thinking and military training both kicked in. As a Wee Energy's natural gas technician, Kellen Vetter responds to people in need. Doing whatever I can to help someone is just kind of part of the job. His job took a turn after making the wrong one. I just so happened to miss my turn and then I came down that road and it was just coincidence that I just came up on the scene like that. A rolled over car in a ditch with a woman trapped inside. Other drivers flagged him down. The feeling I got, I was, I was nervous, I was scared because I didn't know what I was going to see. The former army paratrooper jumped into action. She said, uh, I think my arm severed. And I looked down and saw her left arm kind of just like laying on the ground. Like she was still there and she was holding it, but it was looked like pretty clean cut right through. Vetter calmed her down. Trust me, just whatever you do, trust me. And she's like, okay, I trust you. He says he used a belt to stop the bleeding. And just kind of cinched it up against her arm and then just pulled real tight. And she said like, ow, like that really hurts really bad. And I was like, okay, well, it's it's going to hurt, and that means it's working. And he wasn't just helping with the physical wounds. She's, like, telling me stuff, like, I don't want to die and stuff. I'm like, you're not going to die, and, like, I'm going to stay here as long as I have to. We Energies commended his actions Wednesday afternoon. He doesn't feel like a hero, but we look at him as a hero. The right person led to the right place. There's a lot of good people in this situation that were helping. I mean... People are doing their own thing. I just did my thing. Better says he has not seen that woman since she was rushed away from the scene. And he says this was the first time that he had to use that training. Certainly uh, made a difference that day. Mary. I literally have goosebumps. Better is like uh, your arms hanging wow. down. It's all right. Keep calm. Carry on. Let's wrap this up with the belt. Unbelievable. It's amazing. It certainly is. It, it, it really is something just that he wasn't there physically for her, but he was there with those yes. words of comfort and, and almost encouragement that yeah. I will be here. First responders are right on the way. Certainly a remarkable young man there. Wow. What a pleasure to tell that story. I'm sure, Aaron, it was a pleasure to hear it. Thank you.